All righty, so we're going to finish this up. Um, I probably won't finish the whole thing in this video. I'll probably just kind of get you started on, on what needs to be done, and we'll let you guys finish it up. I probably will make one more video just showing the completed shed, showing what it looks like. So, all right, <clears throat> I'm going to make another sheet of plywood, um, get my rectangle tool. I'm going to start it down here on this square. And looks like we're going to go eight feet, comma, four feet, enter. And I'm going to pull this out 0.5 inches. And we're going to make this a component. All right. Let's copy this guy up here. Move, control, grab it at that corner. Park it right there. Okay. And uh, since these ones are kind of the same, I'm going to come in before I make it unique. I'm going to draw my line right there. Come up to the top. If I can get in there. Could be tricky. Oh boy. Not what we wanted. Zoom out. There it is. Right there. Push pull. Chop that off. So I should have done that to both. All right. <clears throat> so I'm gonna um, make this one unique. I'm gonna copy both of these to the back wall. I'm going to grab it on this outer edge and <clears throat> we're going to take this over here, plunk it down right there. We are going to make both of these unique and let's see, make sure. Okay, so we should be good there. All right, now I have a problem. I want to go inside and draw the shape of the doorway on those pieces of plywood but it's going to be really hard to get in there so I'm going to show you a cool little trick here under the tape measure we have a where is it there it is it says section plane okay I'm going to get this tool and it gives you this wonky little box so for this one, I'm going to go this way, but I want it down here in the middle. I want it green, so we can make it any of the colors of the axis. Uh, I want it green, but if I come down here, it turns. So the trick is, make it the color you want it, hold the shift key, and then I can come down here really anywhere and click. And see what it does? It cut it in half. So I can actually move this as well. So I can hide. Now it's not hidden. I'm just I just cut it. Now I can see in here. Pretty nice. So now I can come in here and I can edit this one. I get my rectangle tool. I'm going to start it right here and go up to here. Push that out Whoop, like that out come to this one same thing get my rectangle tool start it here go down to there push pull oh something didn't work who's that something wrong what's wrong hmm oh that's interesting. Okay, let's try this one more time. Rectangle, make sure I get to the right corners here. There we go. Let me select in the one piece, get my push pull, chop it. Oh, see, there's something crooked. Um, do 
there. Might have to redraw that. I don't know what's going on. There's hmm. There we go. Let's try this one more time. <gasps> Okay. Ah. Oh, I just not. Hmm. I well, guess we can do it that way. That works too. So there's our door frame. Well, Mr. Turner, we can't see the rest of our how our shed. So you can just click on this and delete it. And then to do the window in the back, we do the same thing. We get our section pane plane. Hold the shift key, park it wherever you want it, and uh, we can come in here. We can edit this guy, rectangle tool. Curious to see if I have the same issues on one of these sheets, bottom sheet in particular. We'll see. That one worked just fine. Click out a rectangle tool. Oh, that's not right. Let's try that again. Oh, wrong rectangle. There we go. This version of SketchUp has several different options for drawing rectangles. All right, so there's that window. So let's get rid of this, delete that. Um, we can start sheeting the roof. So if I wanted to draw yet another uh, piece of plywood, four by eight. No, nope, that's not what we want. This might not let me do it the way I had hoped. Let's try this. Hover here. Nope, it's not going to let me do it. That's fine. We'll just take one of these guys, Control C, actually take it back. We're going to do this one Control C, click out, Control V, and I'm going to plop her down. I'll just right there for a second. I got the right corner. Yes. I'm going to get my rotate tool. I'm going to put it right on that point, but it's got to be green. And if it's being obnoxious, again, you can do the same trick we just showed you. Hold the shift key down and click. And then I'm going to grab on this line because I'm going to match it to that line. Okay. And let's make this guy unique because we're going to have to cut it to match here, right? So I'm going to try something just to see where things line out. If I put that one there. Yeah, okay. So let's make this one unique. Then I'm going to come in. Uh, let me get this out of the way for just a second because I'm going to come into this one. I'm going to edit. I'm going to push this in. Oh, not that one. This one. Push this into the midpoint of that. And we're going to move this guy over. And move control 
but we're gonna have to do the same thing. We gotta trim this piece off here on this one. Um, so let's make this guy unique. I'm gonna come in here, push pull, and push this back to the middle of our blocking. Right. Come on. I want it. Oh, because I'm not going to the right piece. Duh. There it was. Midpoint. Okay. Now we're going to get this guy, move him up and over. Nope. Up. Oh, come on. Right there. And then we're going to trim this guy off, too. This one does not go to the midpoint. It goes all the way to the end of the fascia here. Like that. Okay. So, move, control. I'm going to grab it on this part. I'm going to plunk it down right here that make this guy unique and hmm I guess we'll just do this we're gonna take this we're gonna pull this back to the midpoint ah. push this into the midpoint. There it is. And then we're also going to push this down to midpoint. Like that. All right. Move, control, grab him here. And notice how I'm staggering things so that this line isn't the same line all the way up. We do want to do that. It just adds extra strength. Uh, and so we're going to trim make this guy unique double click and we're going to push this back over here to midpoint click out one more move control click um, like that we're going to make him unique every single piece on the roof is unique Kind of. Now that we have all of this, I can take all of those pieces, select them all, hold the shift key down, move control, copy it straight over there, get my scale tool. We're going to do the crossways, negative one, enter, move. Grab this guy and park him right there. All right. So roof is actually sheeted. Um, sheeting is not done yet, though, actually. So we, we still need to come in here. And this is where you're going to want to maybe use the section plane. You can... You can put the plane right on the edge here, like this. Okay, so it's black because we're on that surface, but we could take this, copy it up, and trim that piece to underneath here. Again, we are going to stagger those. So we would put the long piece, this piece over here, have that eight foot run and then the short piece on the other end, okay? Um, I think for now, I won't have you sheet the underside. Uh, I haven't decided if we want to go that far yet. That might happen. What I do want you to kind of start doing, though, is playing with, over here, the materials, okay? So if we... Come over here to this search function and click on that. It gives you this great big long list of stuff. 
So we could we could put siding on it. Uh, that's one way to do it. If you do that, great. Um, I think we might come back and actually make pieces of siding. We'll see what we have time for. Uh, if you wanted to do shingles on the roof, you could do that. And uh, there's even uh, wood. So we got brick cladding and siding, asphalt and concrete. So we could paint the concrete slab, make it concrete. Let's see, 3D printing. Where's wood? There it is. Okay. Oh, why didn't it work? There it is. So now we can choose one of these and we can actually paint our uh, components here. Ooh, that one's going to take a while, but we can go through and paint everything. Um, and again, to make your life easier to get inside, you might want to use that section pane tool. But uh, go through, get everything painted, finish the sheeting on this side, on the front, on this side, and the back, up under the eaves there, and uh, get her painted. It's starting to look pretty darn good. Oh, uh, so there is kind of a plywood look, but... If I paint the inside, it paints the outside too. So the way around that is if you edit this component and paint it here, it paints. Oh no, it did. Oh, because these are these are not backwards. Uh, we didn't invert these. We just copied them. So we could turn this whole thing around with our scale tool. And like this, and go negative one, enter, and then move it back out to where it's supposed to go. And then it's an inverted, so go straight back, right? No, come on, out, grab it right there, go, come on. Why is it not letting me grab it there? There. So now it's inverted, and we can paint the inside so we can have all the inside bare wood and all the outside if you wanted to. Okay. There you go. Uh, one other thing. So now that we've painted, if I click on this home icon, everything I used is in here. So I don't have to go back through this big, huge, long list every time I want to try and find something that I already used. You can just find it in there. Um, and another cool part, you should be able to, maybe you can't do it in SketchUp for schools. You used to be able to edit this. So you could actually change the darkness. You could you could make your own, you could do a lot of fun things, but I'm not sure if that'll work in SketchUp for schools. Anyways, there's our shed. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Um, next video will show everything finished, completed. Um, maybe some, we'll, we'll do some, make some actual siding pieces and actually spend some time to actually side it. Um, all that fun stuff. Thanks for watching.